video shut off again. I think I accidentally hit the button. But uh, like I was saying, the one thing I forgot to mention was that the fenders, they, when I painted, they got paint on them. So I'm gonna have to let them dry. Right here, you can see how they look. And I'm gonna have to take that one off. But I'm gonna use the black paint and paint them all the same color. So that way they look the same. And uh, it's supposed to be like a gloss paint. But uh, I gotta make sure I keep that stem too. When I take the tires, make sure I take the stem. Don't know what kind I need. Uh, but as far as the engine, I'm gonna have to get a stator, which I don't really want to. I'm trying to see if somebody has one. There's somebody I found on Facebook. I'm trying to get a hold of them and see if they will help. If they, but well, they say they didn't have a stator, but they could help me finish. So maybe I'd give them like 20, 30 bucks to put it in. And I'd still have to get the stator because it's got to be for an internal reverse. And uh, I want to make sure I got the right one because they have external stator and an internal stator. And hopefully when I get the stator, the cords will match up. I won't have to worry about putting the connectors on it to get it to work. But as soon as I can get some power to it, I'll be fine. So hopefully everything will work out. And I may have to re get a tap and die set and retap the uh, uh, spark plug thing because I think I uh, cross threaded the uh, thing inside, so I'm gonna have to retap it. And I don't know how I could probably get that. At, well, I know I can get that at um, Harbor Freights and just retap it. And I want to get a multimeter because I know I'm gonna need it because the next project I have is a. Uh, uh, or gonna get is a um, it's like an old moped that you pedal you know you you pedal it and then get it going uh, it was the kickstart kind right after the pedal and it's really cool and it looks nice and everything no rust you know just clean it up it looks good and I'm gonna use it because I need something to get around or maybe trade it for something a little better you know somebody might trade it for a little, something a little better because I'd rather have just a standard one because those are going to be hard to find parts for. But all it is, you know, it was at the pawn shop and I put it on layaway. And pawn shops don't take anything unless it's working. They had, dude said he had it in there for like three months. So I'm sure the carburetor would need cleaning. And uh, to be able to drive it home, I could just put some starter fluid in and that should be able to help kick it over. You know, maybe. We'll have to see. And the tires should be good on it. You know, if they're not, I'll have to put it in the wife's back of the wife's trunk and get it. But uh that's what I've got so far. You know, everything's hooked up, minus the two cords, two wires. And I try I hooked them up, but it's still not getting fire. So it's gotta be the stator, and that's the only thing I have it well. That and the rectifier is the only two had things I haven't changed. But the rectifier I can't tell until I start getting power to the motor and getting it running and stuff like that you know but as long as it that spark plug works i'll be fine you know that probably got thrusted across there that's what it looks like but it's kind of hard to see it when you got a cover over top of it uh, everything else is hooked up the brakes you know and that hand brake actually holds you know it held it pretty good you know, it's a little tight, but it still works. And then I'm going to spray the fenders, you know. Right there, I'm going to spray the fenders and get it done. And put the seats in. I'm going to try and do it. Today's Saturday. So tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going to try and finish putting it. I'm going to put the driver's seat first and then run the, you know, hook up the stuff in the front for the key, the switch, you know, stuff like that, kill switch, and then put that little box on there, and I got some little screws I can put on it, you know, tighten it in and put it in place like it's supposed to be. And uh, run what wire I can, you know, hook up the two lights and bring it through and then tighten everything down, you know, in the center where those little tab pieces are. 
and that way it holds the wiring in place and I still have to do the I almost forgot I have to do the uh, little oil box too that's hanging right there I almost forgot I have to get that I might just put ties for right now to hold it in place and that way you know it'll hang down too so that might help a little bit if I have to I'll just use wire because the wire won't melt so quick you know I have to check and see what it does but I think I'll just do that for now I'll just hang, let it hang down you know because all I'm doing is you know testing everything and selling it somebody else can put it however they want you they can get a, a brace or something and a, and uh, weld it to it and put it on you know no biggie but that's what I have so far and everything excuse me so I'm gonna do this tomorrow cover that up a little bit better put these under here so I don't keep stepping on them and uh, put the good one there and the lights actually look really good yeah, I like the way the front looks oh by the way I accidentally did it too tight and I took that one off but it's got the three holding it so it should be okay oh and one thing I did that I said I was gonna do I put the sticker right there the uh, go power sports and I put that one there and then on this side it's right there and on the side right there and that's the one thing I said I was gonna do because that's where I got most of my parts from that and uh, hammer hammerheadperformance.com those are the two places I got parts for my cart and about the only places I could find everybody you know go power sports was actually pretty cheap you know for what they had and I got a lot of stuff on sale but uh, the brakes I got them adjusted and I got the piece and it was long bolt and I cut it down and it does work so when you push the brakes it'll be a little bit different and the throttle works so. oh and it actually springs back what it was I put some 3 in 1 oil on because it was rusted the bolt was rusted on the inside so what I did was I put some 3 in 1 oil ran it through and put it on the spring and it started springing back the brake did you know because how it was you know when I pulled it back it wouldn't go forward now it does and it's doing what it's supposed to do but uh that's everything i think that looks good i think the lights look good like that you know it's not perfect but it gets the job done you know that's what the back looks like you know and if you didn't see it before if you missed it the uh hole i filled that up with jb well i put some sticks in it put the JB weld and I was hammering the thing to make sure there wasn't no other spots you know right here and there and I started hitting right here and it started breaking right here in the bottom so, you know where the bolt was supposed to be and there's no bolt there so anyways I put some J uh put some rubber piece that I had laying around you know that was trash and just stuffed them in there and then put the JB weld on top of it and then I painted everything and that way it would look better and be solid you know I have to touch it up here right there I'll just touch that up you know a little bit of touch up here and there you know and make it look better you know fix some of the cover up what I did but it's getting there and I gotta put the backlight on like I said and uh, make sure the bulb works but I really don't have no way to test it unless I put like maybe like put a battery or something to it or some kind of way to put the power to it to say check, check as if it works at least but that's what I have and sorry for the further two videos again I didn't know I was just gonna make one video but it turned out to be two again <laughs> but I still got to wash off the, uh, the gas tank I still got to wash it clean it up and that'd be one of the last things I do. I'll do that when I go to get the motor. And I want to check the brakes and everything before I put the back tires on. But I believe it's adjusted enough to where it should work like it's supposed to. 
and the only thing I have an issue about is that I didn't with the let me show you real quick with the forward reverse thing sorry sorry it's moving so quick but right here you have forward you know, I don't know if you can see it real good it says forward neutral reverse okay now when I hooked it up in the back I figured I'd use my brain a little bit and I put the reverse here and forward here because forward would go this way reverse go this way you know because it would go backwards which you'd think would be that way so if it's backwards I'll just have to take it off and uh, do it the way it's supposed to which is not a big deal at all because all I have to do is take these two bolts right here out and then take this plate off and that way I can be able to bring it down and I just switch them out and then put it back up but I believe I have it right I believe I do you know I just have to hook everything in and I put this right here along here and through there so that way it's out of the way and it's not touching the motor and you know it's not in anything's way you know I put it around here so that way you know it, it won't go out and hit the spring or nothing and catch on to anything and then it goes down to that uh, thing right there right there uh, you can't see them but it's tabs I'll show you when I go to do it but that's it hope you enjoyed my video so far and hopefully next time I'll have something good done like running but we'll see I just wanted to show you my progress so far because I think I'm happy with what I did so far and I wanted to show you how the front looked but anyways I'm gonna watch the videos I always watch my videos before I put them on YouTube to make sure that everything looks good on it and how it's supposed to be. Hold on. Let me cover this up. Cover that up as best I can. And that way, because I don't like pawn straw getting in my stuff. But uh, that's it. Later.